right, welcome. We are going to be creating a small house today in Google SketchUp. I've already opened a, a brand new Google SketchUp. I went ahead and deleted uh, our guy who's standing here. And now we're going to start building. I'm going to switch to the top view. And then I'm going to close that box. We're going to start by creating a rectangle. Start at your origin, pull up to the right and up. Type in. Uh, We're going by 20 feet by 10 feet. That is 20 apostrophe comma 10 apostrophe. Now we want to zoom out so we can see that. I'm going to switch to the pan here and pan over because I'm going to be building from the edge of that. My second rectangle is going to start right here. It's going to be up and to the right again. And it is 35 feet by 15 feet. That is 35 apostrophe comma 15 apostrophe. I'm now going to take my eraser tool and erase this line to create one large object there. I'm then going to switch to the uh, skew view. Again, I like the bottom right one. Using the push-pull tool, I am going to pull this up 10 feet. That's 10 apostrophe. Once I have that done, I'm going to take and go to the push-pull tool, click the offset tool, click on the top one time, move, and then type in 6 inches. And then I'm going to go back use the push pull tool and this I'm going to pull down and I'm going to pull down 9 feet 11 inches that's 9 apostrophe 11 quotation mark no comma there so now what I've done I've created the outside shell of what the house is going to be I'm going to switch back to the top view so I can make sure that I am drawing straight I'm now going to take the measuring tape and I'm going to set where my uh, walls are going to be. So I'm going to go right here to the bottom edge, pull over, and I'm going to measure it in 10 feet. That's where my first wall is going to be. And since my walls are going to be 6 inches, I'm going to put another line 6 inches away from that. Now from this wall, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull inwards at 10 feet and pull in again and again make that wall 6 inches. From this wall, I'm going to go up seven feet and again add that six inches and from this wall here which is going to go up ten feet and from there six inches again so now I have where I'm going to put the walls in my work area I'm now going to go use the line tool and with the line tool that's the first one I'm going to start and I'm going to start at the edge of the line and I'm going to basically just draw where the walls are going to go. So from here to there and this is easier if you zoom in but I am trying to get where we can see so I'm going from those intersections to the end point of a line. I'm going to do the same thing here. This line is going to run all the way across. So is this one. Remember, if you can't see, you just scroll in and scroll out till you get where you can see it. Scroll back in there. Use the pan tool a little bit to move that over. And I'm going to scroll in. And by doing this the way I'm doing it, I'm just saving myself the trouble of having to go back and delete this line that will be in the middle of those two. Now, I've got a line over here. And if you mess up, just undo. So that line went to the wrong point. So this point to that point. This point all the way down. And again, a little too far out here, so I'm going to scoot in. Intersection to there. And then over. And now I have the areas where my walls will be. So I can now use the eraser tool and erase my lines of measurement. Now uh, you can see where the walls are going to be. Now you see how this one's broken off here? That's fine. 
uh, we could go back and delete that section of the line just like that and that's usually the easiest thing to do I'm now going to uh, rotate this around just a little bit or that's the orbit and I'm gonna get where I can see that I'm pulling this up and I'm gonna pull these lines up nine feet 11 inches which is how far I pulled them down so that means they're gonna go all the way to the top same thing for this set of lines and now I have walls built into my house. Now, as you can see, I have no way to get in the house. So I'm going to switch to my views and I'm going to go to the right hand view. This is where I can see that small area and the wall here. I'm going to zoom in here. And now I'm going to set my doors. So from my doors, I'm going to go from that's not the right time. Let's get the tape measure. No wonder it wouldn't work. I'm going to go over four feet. My door is three feet wide. From this, I've got to go up one inch. Now, if I don't go one inch, what's going to happen is I'm going to cut into the concrete floor. And obviously, I don't want to do that because then I'll mess the whole thing up. So I'm going to go up 83 inches. And now I have the outline of where my door will be. I'm going to use my rectangle tool. Go to the intersection and drag to the opposite intersection. I'm going to now, while I've got a chance, go ahead and use my eraser tool to erase the lines of measurement so you can see the door easily. So there's where my door will be. I'm going to take the push-pull tool, click and pull that towards the center and type six inches and then hit enter. So now I've made a door. Now we need a second door on this wall. So I'm going to rotate around to I can see and I'm going to again use those same measurements except not use the inch up because now I'm inside the house and I'm actually on top of that one inch. So I'm going to go four feet over from this wall, three feet from that line, and then from the bottom I'm going to go up 83 inches and then again using the rectangle tool find the intersection and go to the opposite intersection and then again erase those lines of measurement again you always want to be sure that you erase those lines up out of your picture because if you do something like this that's going to mess everything up now we're going to take that push pull tool and then again on that door pull it out six inches and now that door is gone. So we now have two doors. We're going to go rotate around. And the last door we're going to put on is this door for this part of the project. Uh, instead of going four feet, though, we're going to only go three feet because we shorter we have a shorter wall here. So all the measurements are the same except for from this wall. We're going to go three feet over. We're going to go three feet from that because that's how big the doors are. And again, we're going to go 83 inches up. And now we're going to put that rectangle tool in again. And from opposite to opposite, I'll erase those lines of measurement. And once we cut this bottom door, we will be done with our doors that we wanted to put into this area so far. So I'm going to pull this back six inches. And now I've got a door. Now, if, of course, we were doing this for a real home building, we would, of course, assign different areas uh, like the kitchen uh, and the bath. Uh, notice I didn't put a line here in my original sketch. Uh, I drew these lines all the way here. In this one, I just went ahead and left it off. Uh, what we're going to end up doing, though, is because this is going to become the kitchen, living room. We're going to put a bathroom here. And we'll actually end up making this a staircase to the second floor. All we have to do when we do something like that is just draw a line. So I'm going to do that, show you how that works here. All we have to do is draw a line from one point to another to separate that from a different area. Take our push pull tool, pull it down this time. That nine feet, 11 inches. And then take your nice little eraser tool and erase these old lines there and there you go just like the wall was never there 
In here then we would then put our kitchen uh, area. Uh, we will go in and put make doors and we'll put the doors in there and of course we will add windows uh, as we go through to build our house. Uh, the next video up will be our second story and we will be excited to see what you guys have for that.